Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday's Thought for the Day. Um, I should have been with you yesterday, but Tom stood in for me, thankfully. And um, so I'm taking his spot today. Um, not that we're precious about each day that we do, but I, I was struggling yesterday to, to, to uh, articulate anything at all, I think. Anyway... That's by the by. Uh, I think it was in 2015, during the build-up to the American presidential election uh, of, of 2016, when I sort of first really heard the phrase fake news. And it was a phrase, I'm not whether I'm sure he coined it, but certainly he... Um, used it continually um, that's the eventual president um, Donald Trump and it's a phrase that he's continued to use particularly in relation to his view that the 2020 election was stolen from him by foul means and it's almost become common parlance now isn't it that with everyone very quick to shout fake news the minute their worldview is threatened by another perspective. And in the news currently, I hear President Putin continually use the phrase whenever there are reports that are unfavourable to him. I saw a, a, a film report this morning of a hospital being bombed and a, a mother and baby, a mother having just about to give birth and and you saw this woman being carried out heavily pregnant uh, from this bombed hospital and sadly the news was that both she and her baby lost their lives a couple of days later it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking but even those eyewitness film accounts of atrocities, atrocities committed at his behest are denied. He calls them fake news, going as far to say as that they're all actors, playing parts to show, that, to show Russia and him in a bad light. I, I remember Donald Trump saying similar things about protests against him. They're, they're all actors paid for by Democrats, he'd say. Now, there has, of course, always been news. It hasn't been quite been the truth. I think we're, we're, we've all got a healthy scepticism of um, some, some things. News that stretches the truth. News that um, has a political bias. And we have to be discerning of those things. But, and that isn't new, you know, fake, fake news isn't new in that sense. But what is new is that the strongest purveyor of fake news is the one who cries fake news when the news isn't favourable to them. It's almost like a scene from Alice in Wonderland where everything is upside down or the opposite of what you might expect. Or to quote George Orwell in, in the book 1984, war is peace, freedom is slavery, and ignorance is strength. We're told what we see isn't happening, isn't real. That's... That's, uh, it's all fake. Silos. That they, that those peddlers of the biggest of all the fake news, sadly they carry people with them. A proper discourse ceases to be possible. They're unable to properly debate their position, to justify their position, because it's built on lies. And what, 
what they don't seem to realise and what we need to realise is that ultimately that's a position of weakness disguised as strength. Just as a bully's actions arise from an inward sense of inferiority and insecurity. They have to control their world. And sadly for the world, those in positions of power want to create the world with their viewpoint. Now there are, there are several reasons the sort of proliferation of fake news created by the powerful in particular should be a concern to Christians. First, the prevalence of fake news means the good, new, the good news of Christ that we share is less likely to be heard. And secondly, if we get into a situation where we're the ones who are sharing fake news, our credibility suffers and our witness becomes tainted. Christians who wish to share the good message about Jesus Christ, the good news about Jesus Christ, can't allow their witness to be tainted by sharing fake news or perpetuating a culture that feeds it. We have to be ever vigilant. There are already pl plenty of people who believe that we're gullible and that the news we share is questionable. But news, of course, is central to the Christian faith, isn't it? The message of Jesus Christ about the kingdom of heaven is called good news or gospel. The Greek word for good news is euangelion, which is where we get the English word evangelism. And in contrast with the news that relies on outrage and, and, and polarisation to spread, to spread the good news is about faith and hope and love. Faith that though the wrong is often strong, God is still in control. Hope that God's purposes for redemption are working, even in these dire circumstances that we see. And love that casts out fear and conquers our own sinfulness. Let's be ever vigilant in discerning the powers that create the fake news particularly from those in powerful positions and let us be equally vigilant in sharing that good news with integrity. Amen. Speak to you on, well it could be Thursday, could be Friday, could be Wednesday, but I'll speak to you soon. You take care of yourself. God bless. Bye bye.